What's going on you guys? Andrew aka Drew here back again on the Drew Deeks channel. It's been a little while since I've done a video here, but you guys know I like my trades and signing videos, so I had to do a quick little clip on Eric Stahl becoming a Montreal Canadian. Even saying it right now, it's still kind of surreal. Um, I do like this move, of course, for the Canadians, and you can hear a more in-depth, instant analysis that we did on the Habs Tonight YouTube channel, the one that I've uh, become a part of with Dale Weiss and an amazing team of Montreal Canadiens fans. So do check that out. I've got the link up here for you guys to check that out in more detail. Just going to spitball really quickly with you guys on this channel because I've been missing y'all on this channel. You guys really helped me get off to a great start this season supporting this channel. So I want to say thank you to each and every one of you guys that's subscribed, that's watched. It really means a lot to me personally. So Eric Stahl becoming a Montreal Canadian, 6 feet 4, 215 pounds, 36-year-old Eric Stahl coming in. Montreal is only going to have to pay half of the remainder of his salary as Buffalo will retain the other half. So about a $1.6 million cap hit for the Canadians. And as you'll hear in detail as we go into further on the Habs Tonight channel, some folks are wondering, what's Mark Bergevin going to do next after adding Stalzi here? Is it going to be Cole Caulfield? Well, we'll get back to him in a second because I think there's a very good chance that he signs an entry-level contract with the Montreal Canadiens this coming week. A lot of us are thinking that way in the Habs fan base. So anyway... When it comes to Salzy, what are we getting? So, you know, we've got three young centers on this Montreal Canadiens team. We've got Nick Suzuki, Jesperi Kakanyemi, and Jake Evans, all 21 or under. Well, Evans is a bit older. But uh, the fact is, it's a big ask, I think, to get these guys to be who you trust down the stretch as they're continuing to develop as centers in the National Hockey League. And when you bring in a guy like Eric Stahl, somebody who was really taken on as a leadership role in Buffalo to try to get some of the weight off Jack Eichel's shoulders, but... The good news is, is he's not going to have to do that coming into this locker room with the Montreal Canadiens. It's already a solidly led locker room with great leadership. He's just going to help enhance that. But really all Stalzy has to come in and do is play. And that's all he's got to think about is coming to play hockey. He doesn't have to take on that mentor role. He's going to maybe be a mentor for some younger, younger guys in the Canadiens naturally, but he won't be the only one. So right from the back end out, Carey Price, Shea Weber as your leaders, you know, Jeff Petrie, Corey Perry at a cool $750,000 this year, who's been just a huge asset to the Montreal Canadiens, especially on the power play. So with the power play continuing to get better, we'll talk quickly now about Caulfield. So why not bring him in now on an entry-level deal? We saw Romanov come in last year in the bubble, burning his first year in his entry-level contract, but he didn't even touch the ice with the Montreal Canadiens, where now, if Cole Caulfield continues the way he's been playing in the NCAA, as we heard today, the Wisconsin Badgers were eliminated from the finals. We know that there's a good potential here that Caulfield could really enhance the Montreal Canadiens' power play even more right now. And now that there's only a seven-day quarantine, both for Stahl and anybody who comes from the U.S., which could be Caulfield, that's good news for the Montreal Canadiens. They can get them in sooner into this lineup now. If it doesn't work out for Caulfield, that's fine. He can go right back down, right down to the Laval Rocket and continue his development path and then join the Canadians in the fall in October 2021. So I think it's a win-win if they really try to bring Caulfield in. At worst case scenario, you would continue his development path, which just makes perfect sense now that the NCAA season is done. So why, why stop a good thing? Continue him on that development path. And if he can help the Canadians power play, or just in general, if you can jump onto that third line, possibly with you know KK and Toffoli, for example, that'd be a nice looking line to see him start with. So Eric Stahl, maybe Caulfield also going to join the Canadians soon, and we might see another depth piece on defense added by Mark Bergevin in the absence of Ben Sherrod as he continues to heal up his hand. So Eric Stahl becoming a Montreal Canadian, you got to like it. He can play center, he can play wing if needed, so... This fourth line for the Montreal Canadiens could get a lot better here. Maybe Corey Perry, Eric Stahl, and Paul Byron, or throw Arturi Lekkinen on there. Maybe Jake Evans, who knows? We, we've got some options if you maybe, maybe even consider bringing Armia down to the fourth line if Caulfield gets up to the third line. we got some nice-looking options going down the stretch, guys, and we're going to need this if we're going to get into the playoffs and actually have some success. So definitely like this move, bringing in Eric Stahl. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. It's a blast to come back onto the Drew Deeks channel here for a quick video. And be sure to check out Habs tonight. We've got Don Cherry coming on tomorrow. We just had Brandon Prust on. Thomas Placanet's video is going to be released soon. Chris Pronger going to be on the Habs Tonight show next week. Some amazing stuff I've been able to be a part of with Dale Weiss and the Habs Tonight team. So please do check that out as well, guys. Thank you for checking out this video here today. Go Habs, go. And we'll see you guys soon.